Hi there, I'm Joshua and I'm a junior studying computer science at UC Berkeley. In 10 minutes, here's everything you need to know about the UC Berkeley computer science curriculum. Let's begin. The UC Berkeley computer science curriculum is split into two types of classes, lower division classes and upper division classes. Let's start with lower division first. Now the first type of classes we'll look at are math classes, namely Math 1A and Math 1B. Now these are introductory math classes that teach mainly calculus. Most students have fulfilled these classes in high school, so please check if you've fulfilled these requirements. The next set of classes we'll look at are probably the classes you've heard of before, 61A, 61B, and 70. Now CS61A is an, in, is an advanced introduction to computer science. It is taught in Python and it teaches students functional programming. CS61B is data structures, a very important class in the CS curriculum. And CS70 is more of a math class, discrete mathematics and probability theory. Most students find CS70 the most challenging out of these three classes. These three classes are very important because you need an average GPA of 3.3 in these three classes in order to declare the computer science major at UC Berkeley in the College of Letters and Science. I want to emphasize that this is an average this means that you may get below a 3.3 GPA in any one of these classes, but your average overall these three classes across these three classes must be at least a 3.3. Let's take a quick look at how grading works at Berkeley. Here's how grading works at Berkeley. This means that you need to get an average GPA of B plus across these three classes in order to declare the computer science major. Now, while this is challenging, it is definitely doable and I'm sure you can do it. Another class we'll look at is CS61C. Now this class is machine structures and computer architecture. It is a computer science class, but it is not included in these three. The next set of classes are X classes, or electrical engineering classes. Now, X16A and X16B are introductory electrical engineering classes. Now, you guys are lucky. As of last semester, they've removed the requirement for X16B. Let me just erase that off the board. This means that you have to take X16A or Math 54, which is linear algebra. So this rounds up the lower division classes for computer science. You need to take Math 1A, Math 1B, CS61A, CS61B, CS70, CS61C, and either X16A or Math 54. Now let's move on to the upper division classes. Now there are many upper division classes you can take at Berkeley. So I'm gonna tell you about the requirements.
you have to take 20 units of CS or X courses for the upper division requirement. Now each CS class is typically four units, so this equals to five CS classes. We'll talk about which classes you can consider taking later. Now, apart from this 20 units, there's also seven units of technical electives that you have to take. Now, these classes are typically outside the CS major. Again, you guys are lucky. They have reduced this requirement from seven units to four. Let me again wipe that off the board. This means that outside the CS major, you have to take another upper division class in a different department. So these are the upper division requirements for computer science. Now there's a list of what classes fulfill this technical elective requirement and this is linked in the description below. As for these 20 units of CS classes, this is a big deal for people. What should they take? There is a long list of CS classes and all of them are amazing that fulfill these requirements. But here I'm gonna tell you some recommendations that I've received throughout the years. Here are some recommendations for upper division CS classes that I think you should consider. The first one is CS160, which is User Interface Design and Development. This is a very important class for students that want to get into front end work in the future. The next one is CS161, which is Computer Security. Very important for students who want to get into security in the future. The next one is CS170, Advanced Algorithms, which is the class I'm currently taking right now. In my opinion, this is an amazing class and is great for students interested in CS theory. The next one is CS186, Databases. This is very important because databases are everywhere in industry. The next one is CS188, which is Artificial Intelligence and is closely linked to CS189, which is Machine Learning. Now CS189 is math heavy and it requires Math 53, which is not a requirement in the CS major. So do take note that if you want to take CS189, Math 53 is a recommended requisite. So these are some of the classes that I've been told are really, really great for the CS major, and I'm going to take all of them. I think you should definitely consider them. Now I said a lot of these are important, in fact I said all of them are important, and really any decision you make will be fine because all of the classes at Berkeley are amazing. There are two more classes that I want to highlight from the Data Science major. Data 100 and Data 101. These two classes also fulfill these 20 units of courses that you have to take. Data 100 is advanced data science techniques. So you can think of it as this class will teach you everything you need to know to be a data scientist in industry. Data 101 is data engineering. It is a CS186 class at a higher level of abstraction for data science. Also a very good class if you're interested in databases and data engineering. So these are the recommendations that I have, and this is the computer science curriculum at UC Berkeley. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it, and this really gives you a great idea of the CS curriculum at UC Berkeley. Please let me know what else you would like to know, and I'll be happy to make a part two or even a part three if necessary. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.